What's up, Internet? It's your dumbass, Banagos Gaming. And, well, there's new Pokemon Presents. If it's anything like the last one, this is going to suck. I might not even end up uploading this to YouTube. Uh, but we're going to react to it anyways. Unfortunately, I already had a little bit from it spoiled. We've known for a while that there's going to be, like, some special Mewtwo raid because it got data mined. Um, so that's not going to be a surprise. Also... There's two games that are actually getting added to NSO that I saw when I loaded up YouTube. I didn't even, like, watch this video. They were just, like, uh, in my subscription feed. I was like, oh, cool. That's good to know. And there's something about Detective Pikachu because literally the first comment on this YouTube video was, uh, like, the one I'm watching, that is, uh, was, like, a timestamp dump, which is fine except that also was spoiling stuff and the first one was detective pikachu that's not really too surprising though we they already announced that game so it's not surprising they're you know sharing some more information about it anyways let's go ahead and get started on this it's gonna be what 35 minutes long yeah so let's go honestly most of this is probably gonna be stuff i don't Hello, care about everyone. I'm Utsunomiya from the Pokemon Company. In today's presentation, we'll be sharing information about several Pokemon projects, including the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. Oh First yeah, you can all, see the Mewtwo and the Mew in the, the background. The 2023 Pokemon World Championships so. is nearly upon us at last. And but we we'll hope you'll get enjoy into that this later. Video. I wonder if the uh, Palmy in the background is supposed to mean I'm Chris something. Brown from the Pokemon Company International. We're thrilled to bring the Pokemon World Championships to Yokohama, Japan for the first time ever. In just a few days, over a thousand trainers from all around the globe will make the journey to compete for the title of World Champion across the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet video games, the Pokemon Trading Card Game, Pokemon Go, and Pokemon I still, Unite. Pokemon Go as a These like competitive game doesn't make any sense. Oh hey, what's up, Neptune? Almost beat Stream Elements. Yeah. Honor the season -long yeah, Stream Elements took its sweet their time this time Every around. Every competitor will also receive a special welcome kit. Okay, that's kind of cool. In 2013, the featured promo card in this kit has been Champions Festival, which showcases unique artwork themed after each year's location. Now, for the first oh, time, I should probably we'll turn off my alerts just to be card, safe. Paradise Resort. Competitors will also get the coveted World's Pikachu plush based on this year's celebratory. Okay, I don't know if coveted is the right term for, for that, but that is cute. Meeting, the World's Pikachu plush, along with other exclusive items, will also be available at the largest Unite Pokemon Championships as well. That game is in no condition to be in any August competitive scene. 13, yeah, but that's at least a MOBA, so I get it. We invite the rest of as opposed to Pokemon Go, to where you're literally Pokemon just tapping the screen. And, tune into our and the only strategy video. whatsoever is when now, you let me hand it off use your, your uh, like ultimate, or if you switch Pokemon. Celebration events happening around Yokohama, Minato Marai, beginning today. I know what every single ban is going to be. Thanks, Chris. Rikia Watanabe here from the Pokemon Company. To celebrate the Pokemon World Championships 2023, we've begun a number of events here in Yokohama Minato Mirai. We're collaborating with various facilities in Yokohama so that visitors can experience Chasing the video conceptual. Pokemon okay, aren't these championships in like a week? World. And you'll find plenty of photo ops set up for you, along with great artwork around Sakura Gicho Station and Minatomerai Station to celebrate the World Championships. Additionally, we'll have a specially equipped luxury cruise ship docked at the quay for you to enjoy during the competition period. From you August two, 11th to 13th, and stop on Confi by the Pokemon probably gonna be banned. Yeah, that makes sense. At least the first two. There are many spaces on board. Oh, right, yeah, there's this, like, cruise the ship world, thing they're doing, which is actually, like, kind of neat. And battling with their it's kind of like the uh, SS Anne, Pokemon TCG it seems like. Hand. And there are many more events being held, including Pikachu parades. Why? We what? hope you'll enjoy a fantastic uh. summer together with Pokemon in Yokohama Minatomidai. For more details, please visit the special events website. Finally, I think Chris and I would both like to say... 
Otano Shimini. We actually have one more video related to the 2023 Pokemon World Championship. Just when I thought I was out of the stuff that I don't care about. I know there's going to be a lot of stuff that I don't care about in this, though. Hi, I'm Andy Ghost from the Pokemon Company International. We're thrilled to bring the Pokemon world together for the premiere of our newest short animated series, Pokemon Path to the Peak, at the Pacifico Yokohama on August 11th, alongside the Pokemon World Championships. Pokemon Path to the Peak is a tale that brings the Pokemon oh, trading card game to life as you've never seen before. Yeah, Second I'm glad they do the translation the instead of just subtitles. It's the story of our but also, Ava, who I don't know if it's actually better, because <laughs> at least subtitles, it like still flows normally. With the support of family, community, and newfound friends, Whereas the translation is like the very awkwardly paced, because they're having peak. to pace it around the, you know, the original I know it's tough moving to a new language. Place. But think of it as a new start. You try new also, things, this is neat. They're like friends, launching this at the eventually, event. you'll find your place. Challenge accepted. Welcome to the Pokemon Club. Yeah, I know. All play together. That's awesome. I know, right? So the new girl can play. But how would you do in a real competition with championship points on the line? What the hell is this? It's some sort of anime or animated thing. I'm not going to watch it, but it looks neat-ish for children. Look out for Pokemon Path to the Peak. Episode 1 will also be available globally on YouTube August 11th. We can't wait for you and no all your friends how they and family made a TCG to join us anime. The Well, I mean, what else were they going to do besides, you know, the actually improving the games that they should Japan not be nearly, nearly as busted as they are? We hope everyone is looking forward to it as much as we are. Yes, Next Internet, up, I'm aware that the animators aren't the, the problem. Return of that tough-talking Pikachu. Oh, yeah, Detective Pikachu. Nice. I might play the this when it comes Pikachu. out. The name's Pikachu. And I'm what you might call a great detective. I live and work here in Rhyme City, where humans and Pokemon live side by side. Man, Everyone it's a shame this it already here. looks Not way better than Scarlet and Violet. Okay, never mind. Those, some of those animations are bad. I spoke too soon. Up. I'm looking for leads on my missing partner, Harry. And it's no walk in the park, let me tell you. Mm hmm? You want to know more about me? All right, all right. I guess I can open up a little. Because your deep voice makes me uncomfortable. First, yeah, Tim. it's not He's what I expect. my partner at the moment. For some reason, Tim can understand what I'm saying, even though he's human. And this guy right here is Harry. He's Tim's dad, if you can believe it. Then we got Tim's mom, Irene, and his little sister, Sophia. There's also Rachel, who goes to college with Tim. Well, speaking of Rachel, Doesn't fit her the dad, cute, fluffy Howard, body. he's actually the mayor of Rhyme City. I mean, I think that's I part of the fun the of it with, uh, of all the interesting characters around here. with, like, the Detective Pikachu movie, at least. Now, let me give you the gist of what me and Tim do. Whenever an incident occurs, Tim talks to the people, I talk to the Pokémon, and we work together using our case notebook to deduce what happened. When investigating a scene, we're total pros at finding everything, but even pros gotta take it easy every so often. So you can count on us to solve even the toughest cases in a flash. A redhead and Tim romance, yeah, that seems pretty Oh, likely. right! Sometimes other Pokémon help us with our investigations. Take Rowlet, for instance. She can track okay, down well, that's suspects cute. with her sensitive nose. And Darmanitan here packs a pulverizing punch. All kinds of Pokemon lend us a hand. Oh my Don't, god, the Pikachu writing in the asshole. How can I forget the Hi-Hat Cafe? It's a famous coffee house in Rhyme City, and I'm their best customer. Oh, that first cup in the morning really hits the spot. Yeah, no, this looks Looks like interesting. trouble brewing. We just can't but. catch a break. Seems like another big we'll mystery see. is unfolding Depends on, if they want city. $60 for this, I think I'll be fine. We just want to find Harry already. If you want to know what happens, you got to wait till October 6th, okay? Okay, Why this is kind of soon. Isn't it obvious? That's the release date for Detective Pikachu Returns. Let's solve some mysteries together. Eh, I don't know. That could be fun. We'll probably check it out. This game actually looks decent, which is shocking. Well, it's probably not made by Game Tough Freak, talking, so powered by coffee. The self-described you know, great that would probably detective Pikachu be a big part works of it. I'm just noticing partner, how Tim, like giant Mouse Garada and uh, Quaquavel 
look compared to Skeletor. Detective Skeledurge Pikachu returns for Nintendo Switch shelf. systems. Like obviously, I know Skeletor isn't bipedal, but like Nintendo also, it just looks super tiny. Online stores. I should see if uh, the voucher thing. We hope you check it on out. NSO is and like cover for yourself the truth you can the use that for uh, these two must tackle for that game so that way at least I don't have to pay Next, full price for it. We have a number of announcements and updates to share with you. Isn't this whole video about announcements and updates? Man, I don't necessarily care about the anime too much, but man, they do a good job making it look really good. You could tell from the music in the clouds. Yeah, it was. I'm, I was pretty sure that uh, Horizons was the name of like the new series. Okay, that kind of is weird though. The like jump to like a 3D model. Oh, Nomona, yep, all the, uh, oh, what the, heck? wait, what? That was a shiny Rayquaza, what the fuck? <laughs> that was out of nowhere. The fight scenes I've seen are actually really impressive. Yeah, it, seem, it seems like they just generally do a good job. This year, oh, yeah, Pokemon, Pokemon Go, Go is once again holding multiple Pokemon Go Fest events. The locations for 2023 include London, Osaka, and coming next weekend, New York City. On August 26th and 27th, we will also be holding Pokemon Go Fest 2023 Global, a digital event that can be enjoyed from anywhere. In this year's Pokemon Go Fest, Diancy will appear for the first time ever. Yeah, uh, but again, you notice a little small Mega text, Diancy only if you pay for it. Hey, remember all, all the times in the past where it was like, oh yeah, if there's a special event, they just year, give you so the mythic? Or at least if you do the research, but now they're oh, like, oh no, pay us $15, thing. go fuck yourself. Why were those grody-ass shoes on a shelf? What what the hell is this? Are they doing some Nike partnership or some some something weird that's like a thing with a uh, some shoe company? I mean, it has to be right. Beginning what? in September, Pokemon first discovered in the Paldea region will be appearing in Pokemon Go. Oh, uh, really? And head out in search of Pokemon That's from how you region, revealed from that? From Kanto to Paldea. Pokemon Go Fest, the 2023 Pokemon World Championships, and more Pokemon making their Pokemon, Pokemon Go sleep debut. As we win. continue through See, Pokemon that was Go's seventh the year, most your bizarre will announcement only for a with the entire launch world ever. As your stage. That was quick though, Galar took forever. Pokemon I'm sure it'll literally be like the starters, and, and then it'll still be like another 10 years before they actually them. introduce all the Pokemon. First Aren't there still like Gen 3 and 4 Pokemon that with the help of have never been in Pokemon Go? From an onslaught of wild Pokemon. Oh, this is neat. Plus, the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo joins the fray. During battle, Mewtwo can Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo X. Mega Mewtwo X can use its moves in quick succession. <laughs> I take it you don't like Unite. Players can obtain I really have no interest in playing it because, like, down. it's a MOBA, and, and MOBAs 17, are the most we'll toxic shit on the planet. Y Mewtwo, which allows Mewtwo to Mega Evolve into Mega Mewtwo Y. As Mega Mewtwo Y, you'll be able to battle differently than Mega Mewtwo X. Pokemon Unite will continue to evolve even after its second anniversary. Please look forward to more Pokemon joining the fray. The 2023 World Championship Series prediction event is also underway. All players can participate, so join in the fun. It was and really fun, but they sold out hard. Uh... World Championships. And after this broadcast ends, we'll be gifting powerful Platinum Boost emblems, as well as limited licenses for both Mew and Mewtwo to everyone who enters our special gift code in Pokemon Unite. Plus, we're also holding a second anniversary prize machine event. 
this is a great chance to get popular Hollowware for Pokémon like Pikachu and Cinderace. Please join us in celebrating Pokémon Unite's second anniversary. Yeah, don't really care. Oh, I like man. kinda care right it's when it was so gonna come out. Better. So much more fun than I ever even knew. Is this supposed to be Nimona's voice? Let's have us a fruitful battle. At last, our first oh, is this for Masters? From yep. It's called it. And I literally called it as it was coming up, but nonetheless, I called it. Soon. We hope you'll enjoy seeing her interact with trainers from other regions. Nimona and Palmot are a special sync pair with the new sprint role. Sync pairs with the sprint role excel at attacking quickly. By introducing the Tinker Time like event one, is actually really fun. Yeah, it Pokemon looked pretty neat. Will keep on evolving. Like, that looked like something I would actually want to do because it isn't like traditional MOBA. If I had gotten into Pokemon Masters when it first came out, I might have, like, still cared about it now. But being that I'm already way behind on it because I wasn't playing it from launch, there's no way I'm going to spend a bunch of time trying to catch up. Victor and Spectrier will appear. They're a sync pair with a new field role, which excels at field effects. Anyone who completes this event can team up with them. And to celebrate this Pokemon present, you can claim You're one of the first people to discover the meta for the Tinkaton event? Nice. There are plenty more events in the works as we ramp up... But yeah, this is just gotcha. Pokemon Masters EX, so stay tuned. It could be cool, but again, I'm, I'm not going to start it four years behind. There's like something special with Tatsugiri. Oh, is this gonna be for a uh, cafe? Pokemon Cafe yep. Remix. Hmm, what's this? The newest dish at the cafe is sushi? No, wait, it's the mimicry Pokemon Tatsugiri now visiting the cafe in Pokemon Cafe Remix. Okay, Surface that yellow one is freaking adorable. Form tatsugiri, droopy form wait, how come? And stretchy form eh, whatever. With some of your best dishes. I played in cafe event, for a little bit. Um, I don't know, it just wasn't that like interesting for very long. But apparently people must Plus, really like it, because it still keeps, present, you know, away it still gets more updates. Granted, I guess it can't today, be a very expensive game to Vaporeon make content for. Hey, did you know? <laughs> Plus... Sprigatito, Quacoco, and Quaxley are also being featured again in deliveries. Celebrate all this good news with a bonus I mean, like, limited time, time stuff delivery. sucks. Now without using I know that's just how it goes Pokemon with a mobile Cafe game, but like still. On Nintendo Switch or your mobile device and discover what new Pokemon and outfits may show up in your cafe next. Oh yeah, unfortunately I had this leaked. Experience the world of the Pokemon TCG in video games. Actually, I guess they didn't mention that this was going to be coming out eventually. On game Boy Color when it comes to anyways, game Boy, Nintendo Switch but they uh, there was no release date for it. But yeah, this and Pokemon Stadium 2 are out today for uh and battle all NSO. using your own cards. Which unfortunately, since that's was the only thing that I saw in my subscription feed on YouTube, means we, we didn't get the Game Boy Advance games, or any of the uh, Gen 1 through 3 games on NSO yet, which is not too surprising, but also still disappointing. Isn't there an online game already for TCG? Yeah, I mean, there's like the full-on uh, Pokemon TCG. Pichu's Power Plant. But like that, the Courage, classic frolic, uh, more, TCG Game Boy friends. game is like just kind of classic. The two titles you see here will be available shortly after this presentation. You know, they probably should have edited the box art to not say Pokemon limited sleep. edition card inside. Up oh, hey, look there's Pokemon to Sleep. Was released last month. When you track your sleep, your results will determine which styles you'll find Pokemon sleeping in. You may find Pokemon with rare sleep styles. So try to rest your very best and study the many sleep yeah, styles waiting to be discovered. Yeah, I considered maybe like downloading this just for, out of curiosity, but I was looking into it and there's like an the insane amount of microtransactions, which is absurd for a sleep tracker app. So I was like, yeah, with no, the hope you can I'm get good. enough sleep. 
even on such nights. We're powering up drowsy power on good sleep days. So you I can don't even eat understand even it. It's just Pokemon. a sleep tracker, but they have like a gamified element to it. Basically, you just leave your phone like on and it's like on your bed next to you. And to the movement when you like roll over or whatever, it can kind of like hell hell while you're sleeping. It's nothing new. I mean, that's been a thing that's been going on forever. And next, I remember people were we using that the when, latest updates like about a decade the Pokemon ago. Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games, the newest that's games weird. In the core yeah, Pokemon it's weird that they uh, in that last felt year. they need to make a Pokemon version. Please have but a look at whatever. this video. Anyways, finally, like uh, something I might care about. Well, if I knock it over, then it doesn't track properly. I would assume. Wow, art that's better than the actual game. That's cool. Why would you actually, like, do this art when you know how much worse it makes your game look? Like, this is awesome. And then I'm going to go and play the game later today, and I'm going to be like, wow, this game looks like shit. Is this supposed to be an animated? Another anime? Why? Why do they have three different animes going on? We will release on? an online original animated series set in the Paldea region. The I name of the got series cucked. I thought they were going to talk about Paldean like the actual Wings. games. <laughs> this original story uh, depicts the youthful drama of several academy students as they come into their own, growing and learning as they attend school. We hope you'll be excited to see Paldea brought to life in this animated series. We have another Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet video to share with you all. Is this going to be Mewtwo? <laughs> yup. Once again, looks way better than the actual game. Why would you do that to yourself? No, this isn't DLC yet. This is the uh, raid announcement. I'm sure there'll be something about the DLC. And yeah, like we knew from the data mines, Mew gets like a... Sp I think all of its stats get doubled if you bring it into the Mewtwo raid. Which is actually like really cool. There's supposed to be insane for it. Yeah. I mean, again, it literally has its stats doubled. And Mew is already a decent Pokemon anyways, because of how deep its move pool is, and it has, like, it has really high stats, but it's not, like, they're not really focused, though. I think it's 120 in every stat. Are they giving out a Mew? We'll be holding an or, event called Get Mew and Mewtwo. Add Mew to your team and challenge a Mewtwo with the mightiest mark. The mythical Pokemon Mew and the legendary Pokemon Mewtwo. These two longtime rivals are bringing their fierce battles to Paldea. Mews are in. Are they? That would be really cool. Starting right now, you can add Mew to your team by entering no, okay. this so it's a distribution. In the mystery gift menu in your game. Which is, Each that's fine. Each type, nature, and moves will differ. It would be cool if, like, Mew was a 5-star and then Mewtwo was a 7-star. Enjoy adventuring in the Paldea region with a Mew that's all your own. Meanwhile, well, that's nice, so you don't have to Pokemon import Mewtwo one. Will be appearing in a special Terra Raid battle event. Wait, okay, so this event is even coming out today? Emerge wow. And you'll be able to catch Way to Mewtwo drop the ball on that one, Game Freak. Even when they do something Mewtwo cool, they still manage to fuck it up. Be ready for something like, oh special. my god. Like, we'll also hold a number of other Terra Raid battle events that'll help you challenge Mewtwo. Train with your Mew and work okay, together. Okay, I guess that would make some sense, but I, I strongly suspect that Wave One and Wave Two are pointless. We hope you'll take part. In, in fact, looking at the items that it gives, it almost certainly is because, like, why would you even? 
like who cares Finally, like you just like buy the items you need the, DLC, the game's been out for like pokemon nine months Scarlet and pokemon violet titled the hidden treasure of area zero Some of these shots are okay, but some of these shots are... Ugh. Which, I mean, I guess that's Sword and Shield, right? Or, I'm sorry, not Sword and Shield. <laughs> uh, compared to this game, Sword and Shield actually look really good. Well, from what we are seeing so far, this looks neat. I mean, it doesn't look bad, I guess. Oh, interesting. That's a different form of app. I noticed it before, and it looked different, but I wasn't sure if it was just standing on something. So I wonder if that's a Paldean form, or if that's a... Um, if it's going to be a uh, Paradox. I assume that also means we're getting um, some sort of variant for Applin and Appleton as well, or er, Flapple and Appleton. We had some normal Quagsire there. That's interesting. And then I think this is like the second DLC. Wait, this is the one that I think there might be like a zone in this like stadium area that'll like emulate the different regions so you can do like a lowland forms and stuff like that oh are we getting room customization finally they have to add it in a dlc you can't even do it in your dorm room oh my god game free this is cool though oh my god we can actually fly again they had to add it in dlc because they suck at making their actual game good but still, that's actually really cool. I like that. Why is it hooking with a poke? Hello? That's kind of... That's actually kind of horrifying. What the hell is that thing? What was that? That was a cool Pokemon. I'm definitely kind of excited for the second DLC. What the what? So what, was that an ancient form of Entei and a future Raikou? That was okay. Again, the second DLC I'm getting hyped for. The first one, eh, we'll see. It is kind of neat too that it also still An ties back into the uh, down in the, the original game. Pokemon trainers waiting to battle you at Blueberry Academy, and Area Zero's hidden treasure. Let's take a closer look at what we just saw. The DLC for Pokemon Scarlet or Pokemon Violet: The Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Your adventures will extend beyond the Paldea region as you explore new places. Part 1. The Teal Mask Supervised by Briar, one of the teachers at Blueberry Academy, you'll take part in this year's joint school trip. At the okay, I guess the that's land, how they get around economy, explaining why you're traveling. Tall. People live at the base of the mountain and grow apples in sprawling orchards. Rice paddies stretch across the land, and time passes slowly amid an abundance of nature. 
Okay, that was an adorable cleffery. You'll meet a wide variety of Pokemon species that can't be found in Paldea. Nope, different colors of Oracorio, You'll but you can already do that in game. Study at Blueberry Academy. The strong willed Carmine and her younger brother, the meek and gentle Kieran. In battle, Kieran uses oh, okay, so that's a. Uh... Meet Diplin, a Pokemon that looks a lot like a candy apple. You'll set out on a tour of Kitakami to learn. So it's all not about a Oak regional Tales form. It's another. Story. It's like um, like Poly to or um, sorry, not Poly Toad. Uh, Toad's Cruel. This folk or, tale yeah. Anyways, Pokemon you know what I mean. The Pokemon that are very similar but not actually the same. Okidogi, Monkey Dory, and Pheasantipity. These Pokemon are known as the Loyal Three, and they're. I love how this is now the second time they've the used Kitakami, pheasant by the tale of the loyal in that way, because you also have unpheasant. The festival of masks is held each year, and the village bustles with people and souls. What mystery could lie behind this old folk tale? We hope you'll all dive in and find out for yourselves. A traveling photographer is also visiting the village. Meet oh, she's Karen. cute. It seems she's here in search of a certain Pokemon. Take pictures of Pokemon alongside Perrin and help her with her mission. Oh, so there's actually going to be a reason for the photo mode besides just, like, existing. That's kind of neat. In the Ogre Austin minigame, you can pop Ogre Balloons and try for a high score. As a reward, you'll get Mochi, which can help your Pokemon grow strong. You can use mochi to increase the theory is she's Adamant's descendant. Oh, stats. I can see it. That would make a fresh sense. Fresh start mochi can even reset a Pokemon's base points, so you can train your favorite Pokemon just the way you like. And that's not all. You'll be so wait. So is that so we can just like modify IVs now? Is Try that like? Oh my god, we get a selfie stick. Variety. Okay. Enjoy your school trip. If those uh, items are what I think they are, that's going to be very useful and. Yeah, especially like being able to reset them, discs. or it's for uh, effort values. Director but I don't think so because it said Academy, base points. Academy sister school will invite you to visit as an exchange student. This is Blueberry Academy, where your story will unfold. Amazingly enough, this newly built school lies mostly underwater. In the terrarium located this is the i really like this subtropical savanna biome the lush coastal biome it's a shame it's probably going to run at like three the fps rugged canyon biome and the freezing polar biome a total of four artificially created areas each of these areas is home to many different pokemon you'll get to know the students of this academy take on new classes and experience a student life that's a bit different from what you're used to The Academy students often engage each other in battle, and they formed a group called the BB League. At the top of this league stand the Elite Four. Oh, okay, so we're going to get another Elite Four to challenge. There's the level-headed student Lacey, the fiery, battle-loving cook Crispin, the taciturn, okay. cool-headed Amaris, and Drayton, whose laid-back attitude belies his impressive battle skills. His partner, Archaladon, is a new Pokemon that evolves from Duraludon. Oh, so Duraludon is just straight up getting an evolution. It kind of felt like that thing was some sort of Duraludon, but I assumed it was some sort of paradox or, uh, you know, Apparently, regional. one of these trials even lets your Coridon or Maridon fly around temporarily. Perhaps this latent power will be fully unlocked someday. Okay, I was about to say there's... The way they were doing it was like, oh, it's just going to be for like a mini game. But they make it sound like you'll be able to unlock it. It even has its own club room, which you can redecorate as you please. Okay, yeah, so we at least get to do some decoration. In this room, you can find I get the feeling, though, fun, such as it's not going to be your decorating. Your you get to style. just get to choose between a couple of different themes. At one point during your studies here, you'll be able to invite trainers from Paldea to be your special instructors. 
You can spend time with these trainers to get to know them better and battle them too. Finally, your adventure will lead you back to Paldea. What could the hidden treasure of Area Zero possibly be? That was Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet's DLC. The hidden treasure of Are we getting any dates for these? We hope you Please tell me we at least get a date for the quarters. first one. Or no, was that a was that Entei and Raikou combined into think? one? We now have the release date for part one. Oh hell! Oh, that's actually surprisingly soon. I was expecting that to be like to end of videos. October. That's actually okay. You, you know what, Game Freak? Well, Kami. let me take that back. I was gonna say you impressed me, you and so far you have. But I That's guarantee they're gonna blow it. It's gonna run like absolute crap. <laughs> Yes, it's Game Freak. No good thing can exist with them. But still, only another month for uh, the DLC. That's surprising. I was really expecting it to be bad. Is this just all the... Uh... Yep, okay. Well, so, let's go ahead and uh, get off of that. Okay, well, that was uh, actually surprisingly good. It, like, you know, most of it was stuff that I didn't care about, so, like, whatever. Uh, I feel like the tec Detective Pikachu didn't really show off too much. But also, like, I'm not sure how much of that game they can show off without it just being, like, literally showing you everything. Because I get the feeling it's not going to have too much to it, but it should be a fun little goofy game. And then, yeah, the DLC, like, the second DLC especially, I, like, really am liking so far. And... So it's very weird we're not getting the Mew to event like now. But uh oh you know what? I can actually yeah, I can hop in and I can start checking that out. Um I don't even know what to change my title to. I whatever, it's fine. I'll leave it for a second. Um but yeah, I don't know. In theory, they're using like some stuff so you can build up for the Mewtwo event, because I imagine it will be difficult, but, like, again, you don't really, you don't need, like, three weeks to do that. <laughs> like, most people that are still playing the game at this point probably have plenty of cash to buy stuff for their Pokemon. I am wondering, hold on, let me launch, uh, oh, let me go ahead and close out of this. Sarah B, because they're going to have like an actual breakdown of everything. Okay, so the first raid event for it is available now. Um, yeah, it says. Something about Pokemon that'll be useful against Mewtwo. I don't think it's a Scissor, a Hydreigon, and some Blissies. I assume the Blissies are just for candies. And then yeah, the uh, the Scissor and Hydreigon give you a bunch of different stuff. These are all they're all five stars, so they shouldn't be too bad to do. Um, and then. Let me look at Cerebi's breakdown here real quick of some of the stuff. Did they talk about this in the thing? There's going to be a special Cleffery outbreak event from September 29th through October 2nd. Which is... Isn't that like... That's a little ways after the DLC comes out. That's weird. But yeah, September 13th. Raging Bolt and Iron Crown. Let me see. I want to see pictures of those. See, so yeah, a Driplin is a. It's an evolved. And what? Applin did not need another evolution. Why? I thought it was a convergent evolution or something.
Okay, so yeah. Entei and Raikou are like combined for an ancient Paradox Pokemon. And then it looks like Cobalion and uh uh not for his Interakion or Maybe? Actually? Actually, I don't know. Maybe that's not an Entei. Maybe, yeah, that might just be Raikou. That's interesting. And they yeah, Dural. I'm kind of okay with Duraludon getting another evolution, even though I don't think it really needs it. Applin getting another evolution is... bizarre. I, I can't understand why they would do that. It literally already has two evolutions. Why did it need a third? But, okay, so let me go ahead and... Uh, let me go ahead and play some music real quick. Uh, we'll just throw on lo-fi stream beats. As it's a little bit loud. Okay, connect to online. I didn't see, do you need a code for the mule? Actually, I didn't even see if we need to do it. Uh. Okay, I'm not gonna share my own mew to the world. Please stop it. Okay, it is a code. Get your mew. That shouldn't be too hard to remember. We got Mewtwo. And not normally being countered in Paldea. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, so we can catch it. There was a, a thing that we weren't sure if we were going to be able to catch it. Because there was something to indicate that actually... Um, let's see. Pair... Oh yeah, something special might happen if you send Mew into a terror raid battle against Mewtwo, so train up your own Mew. And yeah, you can do that. And there was something to indicate that actually if you use a uh, Mew in these raids, you'll get a uh, Mightiest Mark on your Mew as well. Um, but they didn't say anything in this event, so that might not be true. But I thought that was in the data mine. And then do these start... Okay, so these start tomorrow, so I'm not even like... Oh wait, hold on. No, they might have actually already started. Yeah, because I think it technically is pat... It's like technically Wednesday at that like time already because of time zones. Oh cool, they actually like say what you get from stuff too. I usually don't even look at these things, but that's interesting. All right, let's go ahead and grab that Mew. We can find out what the stats are going to be. All right, now I've updated my title. Uh, mystery gift. Uh, we'll check the news first. Yeah, I think it does that automatically when you connect online. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Get your Mew. Nice. I can always use another Mew. Yeah, we'll see what stats this thing comes with. Okay, eventually I'll get back out of this menu. Uh, we'll disconnect because I don't need to stay connected. And that's just asking and causing problems.
Oh, oh, I think that's so, yeah, it can have like, oh, it's level five. That's interesting. So it can have like any of the terror typings, I think. Which really sucks because Mewtwo is psychic. So like terror fighting is not going to be good. Um, I assume it has like, yeah, it has no EVs, which is not surprising in the slightest. Okay, so it comes with three I uh, best IVs. Really wish I could have had only one of them be special attack or attack, and then have that other one be on something else. But okay, so yeah, you definitely will need to build it up a little bit. You're gonna need to change, or you might need to change the terror type. Again, I don't think fighting is gonna be good on it. Does it come with anything special for moves? Oh, it does. Maybe. It is supposed to be fighting Terra? Just because it does have Aura Sphere? Those might not be bad moves. The only thing is it doesn't have any... It doesn't have any stab for before you can Terrastalize, which is kind of a problem in raids. Terra is random. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so you will need to build it up, but like that's, you know, that's not a big deal. Again, uh, you know, plenty of money. First move. Oh, okay, that's cool. So yeah, first move depends on the Terra. That would act. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, yeah. So I am gonna wrap up there. I was gonna consider doing some raids, but I actually need to finish my laundry. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it's. I don't think I'll do any of like the raid event on stream not of like the build up the mube too obviously i'll do on stream but that's a month from now um but yeah like the training stuff eh it's just gonna be you know the basics so i'll worry about that when i get there um but yeah uh so i think next time i stream i'll probably start working on um either a lowland meowth or a lowland diglet one of those two for breeding and then I don't... I would be surprised if we have any more 7-star raids before Mewtwo. Uh, if we do, then I'll do that, obviously. I will, uh... I need at some point do some hunting for, uh... 3-segment form to Dunsparce. The shiny version, obviously. Um... Just trying to remember what all else I have to do. I might... At some point here, I'm gonna finish cleaning out my boxes in Pokemon, uh... Sword and Shield. Or, specifically, Sword. Oh, and then I'll get back into breeding in that, but that's going to be a little bit because I'm trying to, like, trade everything away first. All my, like, breed jacks. Uh, but yeah, anyways, thank you so very much, everyone who watched. I definitely appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Gaming. I try to stream a few times a week, uh, usually around midday. I've not been very good about it, to be honest, but I'm trying to get a little bit more consistent. We'll see. But I do definitely at least once per week. But yeah, anyways, thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.